Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video we're going to be painting on something but it's not your normal kind of thing. It's not going to be paper, it's not going to be a sketchbook, it's not going to be a canvas. It's going to be painting on a vinyl record. The reason I'm doing this, I saw this really cool video by Ten Hundred, which is this artist on YouTube. He was personalising a whole record player, which is pretty epic. I was like, ha, I would love to be able to do that, but I'm, I, I, I kind of thought to buy myself a record player just to paint on. But I can go to a charity shop and buy a vinyl record uh, for a couple of quid, winning in live. <laughs> I thought it could be a great idea for other artists that might want to give something special to their loved ones. If you're an artist, you probably don't have a lot of cash. That tends to be the way, unfortunately. If you want to paint on a vinyl record, it just makes it a bit more quirky and a little bit more different. What am I going to be painting? I decided that I would do two different vinyl records and I'm going to have one for spare just in case everything goes wrong. What I wanted to do was do two very different things because it makes it more interesting for me because I get bored very easily. On one vinyl record, I will show you here that I'm going to do my Doc Martens boots. Why? I love painting the shoes. I think it shows something. It's interesting. Shoes have a journey. Oh, my pasta is overflowing. Cooking my lunch. <laughs> what was I saying? I can't actually remember. Shoes! I absolutely love paintings of shoes because they show a story. There's something about shoes. The way they're, they're left, they're pulled off, someone's got to run upstairs and go do something. So they just leave their shoes sprawled out on the floor, which happens quite a lot in my house. <laughs> and also the way they're worn. You can tell a well-loved pair of shoes. A gin clock. They're well worn, they're really used and mm. that is going to be one of my vinyls with my pride and joy Doc Martens. I'm going to take a photo of them, paint it on one of the vinyls and then on the other vinyl I have been googling lots of free images, trying to find a beautiful landscape that's really quite different you know from like a still life kind of image to beautiful vast land. I thought the two things would just be quite enjoyable to do. Let's go into the kitchen, go grab my Doc Martens, take a few photos and see what we come up with. Will she have to eat in the background? It's so gross. Oh, hello doggies, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, you see some life on them don't you? I mean, come on. Oh, hello, Louie. They're just awesome. So, I'm going to take some cool photos of these now. Right, so now we're going to, uh, we, me, I, <laughs> I am going to draw onto the vinyls. First up, I'm going to use this lovely picture of my Doc Martin boots and I'm going to draw that onto this vinyl record. I go over the lines with my mechanical pencil to make them nice and dark so I can still see when using my acrylic paint. <laughs> 
and then I'm gonna go on to doing my uh, my landscape drawing and it's just a very basic sketch just so I know where I'm going with it. Okay, so I have got the drawings down on the vinyls. I'm really excited. I feel like it's gonna go well. It might go well. I'm a bit unconfident when it comes to painting still, but gotta keep practicing. Got to keep practicing. Let's do it. What I'm thinking here is, oh crap, what have I done? Um, I just wasn't happy with the tree section. It looks quite nice from far away, but close up I was just not happy. I didn't like it. So I went over it all, um, got that section down again and just tried to tidy it up a bit and then redo the trees uh, to make them look better. And then I also added in some dot dotting um, with my acrylic paint pens just to make it a bit more interesting up close because uh, I just felt like up close it just looked a bit basic from far away again it was really nice but I just wanted it to be interesting to look at when you close up to it as well so that's what I did to make it look better and I hope you agree I you know I hope I haven't ruined it um, to be honest I'm still not happy with it but I'm going with it I need to just stop sometimes you just need to stop don't you and um, maybe i should have stopped before oh i don't know oh do i regret it oh never mind it's done it's done Now moving on to my Doc Martin boots and I tell you what, I am so pleased with this picture. It, everything about it went right, which I was really pleased with because I don't feel like my landscape one went as well. Um, so yeah, I, I just felt like the shadowing just worked out really nicely and I really love the blue squiggle behind it. I think that just gave it a bit more interest. Um, so yeah. Some, uh, some beautiful work here. I'm uh, quite proud of it. So there you have it. This is my lovely paintings on vinyl records. 
Uh, like I was saying previously, I don't love the landscape, but it's all right, it's not too bad. Um, I wanted to cry halfway through, but never mind, it's done. Some people like it, I'm sure some people will agree that it's crap. Shh, don't say it's crap. That's not very good, is it, Cassie? My Doc Martin boots one, I absolutely adore, and I'm actually gonna put this one up for sale. I'm gonna sell some of my artwork, which is really, really terrifying. I'm gonna put it up on my Etsy page, my first ever piece of art on sale, and I'll probably put it on Redbubble as well to be printed on some different things. Yeah, so have a look in the description and you'll see all about that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe, then feel free so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye.